So it's day four, not three, it's day four. And that's what I was going to say is, as you guys saw on day three, we did a video titled, Can Defense Win Championships? Well, today, we're here for part two. Can Offense Win Championships? Let's find out, as we are going to get the Panthers. We almost got the Redskins, which no longer exist. But hey, we got the Panthers. Let's see if the Panthers can take it all the way. All right, so we're here. We're cooking. We got the Panthers. We're going to start the fantasy draft. My favorite parts about this is how we end up with the 31st pick. Wow. I thought I was going to end up with a solid pick, but I guess we're not. We're probably going to go with the quarterback off rip. Who could we take? Maybe we aren't going to go with the quarterback off rip because we're going to get another pick here in a second. So maybe we take a running back. You can go with somebody. I mean, it's a two-year rebuild, so we'll just go with a running back. It doesn't really matter. It's not like he's going to regress at any point. We'll go with Nick Chubb. Welcome to the Panthers. So Tua just got taken one pick before us. You don't like to see that. Who can we go with a quarterback? I, can, I might wait. I really might. I just don't trust the fact that we're picking all the way at the end of the next round. That could be a little bit scary. I might have to just take a quarterback here just to hope. You know, because we're going all offense. We can't be worrying about not having a quarterback. I might go with somebody like Jared Goff, who has accuracy, isn't bad. He's 27. This is, it sucks to have to take Jared Goff here, but it's just what we got to do. So we're going to go left tackle here. We're going to take the best player available. It's Trent Williams. You can't pass up a franchise left tackle. We're going to take the last really good receiver left on the board, DeAndre Hopkins. I debated going with TJ Hawkinson. But I think we might be able to get David Njoku in the back of the next round. That's kind of my hope. Let's find out. Ooh, Dallas Goddard's available. That's even better. We're taking Dallas Goddard. Not even that far down from where Taylor, where uh, Hawkinson was. So that's 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 a good, good that's a good pick right there. We're gonna go with Joel Batonio here. We're gonna try to just focus our next few picks on the offensive line because you can always replace your receivers and stuff. You can't exactly replace good offensive linemen. We're going to pick Shaq Mason here. They're all old guys, but it's two-year rebuild. We're just seeing best, basically best at positions of need. That's just all we really can do at this point. I believe his name is Taylor Moten. I believe he's a former Carolina Panther. We're going to take him. See how that goes. And we need, we now just need center, which we could take a guard or a center. It looks like Corey Lindsley is still available. He's star dev. He should last the rest of the rebuild, even at 31. We've got our offensive line figured out. We got QB, tight end, the whole offensive line. Let's pick our tight end. We need wide receiver. Odell is still available. We could take Adam Thielen, and I could use him for the thumbnail. That would be pretty funny. But I don't think that's what we're going to do. I think we go with Odell, just purely based off of overall. I think he performs pretty well in Madden as well, so... We'll just hope that goes pretty well. We're going to go with Adam Thielen here, though, because I want to use him for the thumbnail. I think that's... I mean, I mean that's the best I can go with. I, I also hope that the uh, commentator isn't talking over me. I don't know if there's a way to turn that off, unfortunately. So we could use another running back, too, but I don't think it's a, nece like a necessity right now. I'm trying to think of what all we could go with. I might go with the second tight end. Dalton Schultz. Makes a little bit of sense here. You need a couple of tight ends at least, it seems like. So we'll go with him. And we'll take maybe a fourth receiver or a running back here. Kareem Hunt's still available. We might go with... Uh, there's still a lot of good running backs available. We're going to go with a fourth receiver. We are going to go with... Uh, there's still a lot of good receivers available, though. Let's go with... I could, again, I could take Chosen Anderson here. Ooh. And I think we'll just go with Kareem Hunt. We're going to put the, the pairing of Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt back together. Kareem Hunt's got to be hating right now, getting picked by the Panthers. We're going to put him back in running back two behind Nick Chubb. He just can't escape it. We got one more pick left after this. We're going to go wide receiver. We're going to take Curtis Samuel, who is still available, which is very good. Only 26. Again, done. the ages really don't matter. I'm trying to think of what else we could use. Maybe, maybe a solid backup quarterback. Jacoby Brissett. Absolute beast. Welcome to the Panthers. And that's it. That's that's the whole draft. We don't get to make this pick. We're doing 15 rounds like the last one. Let's let's sim to the end. I'll see you after the 51st round, oh boy.
or no, it's the 54th round, my bad. I think the move might literally be to try to trade for a franchise quarterback. You know, I don't like the fact that we're, we're not really gonna have a set in stone quarterback that I know will do well. So, I mean, we, we might do that in year two. I don't really know. I don't think I'll do that year one. We'll find out though. We're almost to the end of the draft. This should be the end right now. I'm just talking my way through. We have a 95 overall offense, 75 or 76 overall defense. Uh, yeah, that's about what you expect. We put together an elite offensive line. Who's stopping that offensive line, right? And we got pretty good quarterbacks, a great running back room. Our receivers are elite. Our tight end room's elite. I mean, this is basically your prototypical, like, Super Bowl offense. And probably even better than a Super Bowl offense. Defensively, we're not terrible. I think maybe we move Eric Rowe to corner just so we have somebody else there. Unless he can play linebacker. I, well, let's see. His man coverage is pretty solid. We're going to put him at corner. That's the best I the best I got. I might trade for somebody. We'll trade a couple of picks. Although I don't know how fair that is, really. Just trade straight up picks. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Do we have any offensive depth that we can trade? Not really. Everyone here kind of has a point. Except for maybe Connor McGovern. Could be a good trade piece. Because, like, if we're going to trade somebody, I want to also give another team offense. You know what I'm saying? So does anyone need Connor McGovern? And it looks like the 49ers need him. Let's see. Do you have... Who's your quarterback? Taysom Hill. Okay. That's, that's pain for them. Let's see. Corner-wise, we need corner, and I think we, we need left end. Okay, we need left end. Max Crosby. Give us him. Let's just straight... Let's just do this trade straight up. Okay, they don't want that. That's pretty fair, I would say, that they don't want him. So we'll give them a fourth round pick next year. I think it's a pretty fair deal. We're not getting anyone too crazy. Brings in a starting left end. Uh, and then, apart from that, I mean, actually, we really didn't need to do that. I think Robert Quinn usually does pretty well in Sim. I would like to bring in another linebacker if there are any in free agency. And apart from that, I kind of want to leave the team as is, just for year one, and see if we can build off of that. We'll bring in Kyle Hughes-Check again. He's the part that holds this whole franchise, you know, these two franchises together. So we'll bring him in. And then apart from that, are there any linebackers? I'm guessing not since we, yeah, we didn't take any, so I figure there probably wouldn't be. And I, apart from that, I think, I think we're probably good. I'll cut a couple of players. I'll let the CPU cut players. I'll see you at the playoffs. But we're here. It's time. Let's find out. Do we make the playoffs? We go 11 and 6. That's already better than anything we had. In the last year, we'll choose a draft class. It's going to be auto-generated rookies, of course. Now we're going to see what we're looking at stat-wise. We want to get our upgrades real quick. And so we'll auto-upgrade everyone. We got plus two to both of our running backs. You'd love to see that. They should both be... Well, Nick Chubb should be a 99. Offensively, of course, we're top 10 in everything. Defensively, look at us. I think this proves more than anything that the, the, the scheme does better than anything else. Because there's no reason this defense should be top 10 in points per game and pass yards and pretty mid in defense, like in rushing yards. It's not a good defense, which proves to me it is absolutely scheme over team. That's all oh my goodness gracious. What is this? Like, is that not an MVP season? Like, is it not? It, it was top three. Top three MVP season. We, we got to clickbait that the title. And Pat Mahomes with the Ravens. You love to see it. I wonder if he went nuts with rushing yards because he's in the Ravens playbook. Nick Chubb goes crazy. 1,400, almost 1,500 yards, 14 touchdowns, average 4.8 a carry. Kareem Hunt, pretty pretty solid for a backup. Very solid. Even Jared Goff with three touchdowns on the ground. Receiving, didn't have a 1,000-yard receiver, but we had a lot of people with nearly a 1,000 yards. You love to see that. Blocking-wise, I mean, obviously, we had a top one offensive line of all time so the best offensive line of all time apparently the guy i traded for is the best pass rusher in nfl history not really but a pretty solid for a depth guy and a bad pick armani Oruarie with five picks leading the team so clearly this is why i think we just did really well in this playbook i think this is the brian burns replacement in the defensive playbook so who knows right kicking wise this guy absolutely had a killer year this could be the difference as well <laughs> Our kicker didn't miss, although he barely had to kick. So, what was his longest field goal attempted? 52 yards. I mean, like, we, okay, top three in offensive yards. And defensively, we were seventh. 
So clearly this just means it's scheme over theme in this game. It's unfortunate, but it's reality. And so let's go ahead and advance to the next week. In the last year, I'll go through in each game and do whatever. But we are going to move on to the divisional round. We're matching what we did last time, I believe. We have one new injury. Who could that be? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No longer the top one of all time offensive line. As Trent Williams probably out for even next year. You don't want to see that. Oh, we're going to have to find a replacement left tackle. And our sack leader is out. And our one of our corners. Yeah, like, okay, we're 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 hurt. So if, if we lose, it's probably because we got hurt, or because the other team's actually just really good, the Eagles. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves this auto upgrade going here. And let's see what we're looking at next week. Can we win against the Philadelphia Eagles? No, we took an L. We got outscored. That's not what you want to see. Let's go ahead and move on to Super Bowl week. We'll look at our dev trades, or we'll, we'll move on to the offseason, and we'll look at our dev trades. So here's our season recap. Patrick Mahomes wins MVP. Super Bowl MVP Dak Prescott with the Indianapolis Colts is going to win the Super Bowl. And there's all the rest of the awards. Cooper Cup wins Offensive Player of the Year. Aaron Donald wins Defensive Player of the Year. Rookie of the Years go to Kenneth Walker and Kayvon Thibodeau. Let's go take a look at our roster, see if there are any dev ups. And of course, logically, we've got Jared Goff thrown in there. Uh, apart from that, maybe did Shaq Mason go up? I think he definitely did. I think he must have. Did he win offensive or did he win offensive lineman of the year? He did. Good for him. I mean, I mean it makes sense. Someone on that offensive line had to do it. And since Trent, since Trent Williams was out, it was going to be somebody else more than likely. And I think maybe did Dallas Goddard go up or was he already star? I don't really know. Defensively, yeah, I mean, Armani Orovarie, I think. How this guy didn't go up in dev trait really shocks me because he was our sack leader. I mean, good for him either way. He's not looking too great, but uh, he did well. And then did our, did our kicker win kicker of the year as well and not get a dev trait upgrade? He did. So he got plus one. So, okay, well, how to explain this? He wins kicker of the year and then gets his dev regressed. Yeah, we're giving that back to him because that just doesn't make sense. Obviously, you don't want to see stuff like that happening just because it, it just doesn't make sense at all. I, I don't I don't know who programmed it to be like that. What I assume is that there's a maximum... Oh, that's not what I wanted. There's probably a maximum amount of star development players you can have at each position, and it probably went over. And so instead of regressing somebody else that wasn't as good, the game just decided that it was going to regress the kicker that just got... Which doesn't make sense, but I know why they did it. But Colts versus Super Bowl, or <laughs> Colts versus Super Bowl, about what it looks like every year, to be honest. But anyways, we're, we're, we're working. We're going to go to the offseason. We're going we're gonna to re-sign some players. I'll see you. I'll let you know who we sign. We're going to give a player-friendly deal to Joel Batonio. He wants to stay with the team. I would want to stay with this team, too, considering the fact that he doesn't have to do all that much work. Curtis Samuel, sure, you can have a four-year deal. He doesn't want it. Well, I don't know why. Oh, we're not paying you 20 million. I can replace you. Use check, of course. He's the heart and soul of the team. We'll give him a three-year, six million dollar deal. Oh, why I did that, I don't know. And then Sam Martin might as well keep around the punter. Why not? Right? I mean, might as well. Uh, he doesn't want to. Well, we'll franchise tag you if it comes down to that. We're gonna keep our kicker of the year. We're gonna put him on just a super, super player-friendly deal. He's gonna stay, of course, because we just overpaid. But we didn't really overpay because he was the best kicker. So. I mean, is it really an overpay? Apart from that, though, we just have a bunch of money and not that many people to pay. Uh, Tracy Walker, I would like to keep around just because we don't have many safeties. He doesn't want to stick around. Curtis Samuel, we're not going to franchise tag him. So I guess the punter gets the franchise tag. And we're going to go make some stuff happen in free agency. So basically, we overpaid on offense again. I tried to offer on Kenny Clark, who I guess just wasn't having it. I, I mean, I gave him a player-friendly deal, but I guess he just doesn't like me. Uh, that's fine. I guess we're sticking to the trend of only getting offensive players, huh? So I guess we go for David Onyemeta. Or I, I think that's how you say his name, Onyemeta. I, I don't really know. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but I don't really know. And I tried to offer on 
why oh i did get Wyatt down i didn't even realize so i brought him just in case we have to move somebody to left tackle just because we don't have a left tackle at this point so well at least it doesn't seem like we have a left tackle but we didn't get on him i mean that i guess we i guess i said his name wrong and he took offense to that we're gonna try to make a trade happen for anyone on the trade block basically the whole point of this is build your offense through the draft and then just sign as many players as you can on defense we'll sign or trade for as many players as you possibly can now it's not even like there's many people available though i also offered on jc jackson we didn't get him but i'll trade for michael davis we'll send like a like a mid-round pick we'll send a, thir a third next year fourth this year uh, that should get it done i think we actually had him in the last video but i want to see if there are any linebackers like I'll, i'm willing to make a big trade for like a linebacker or well linebacker and defensive lineman like joey bosa with the lions and deron Payne, who i think we also had maybe in the last one i'm not sure but i'm willing to make a big move here just because now i don't know who i would trade because they want quarterback Do we, can, can we trade jacoby Brissett? there we go oh no it's not even accepted that's it's baloney that's what i think that is that's baloney they need offensive line help. Well, unfortunately, I can't really offer you too much offensive line help. I mean, I guess we could offer you this guy. Yeah, you don't want him any more than they wanted Jacoby Brissett. What about right outside linebacker? Do we have Jawan Alexander? They don't want him. Is there anyone that we have that they might want? Eric Rowe. Okay, he's a little bit higher of an overall than the others. And there we go. Big trade made. We just buffed the defense massively. We need to look to bring in a corner, but I don't think we have the money or anything. I mean, basically, this is we're going all in on pass rush, and that's that's really about it. We're going to send to the draft. I don't have any first round picks for this year. I only have a second round pick. We're going to see. We're going to we're going to fill in one defensive position, which is corner, and we're going to do it with a second round pick. We're we're, we're definitely going to see is this team over scheme. Or it's a scheme over team because i mean we've upgraded both sides well we i guess we downgraded on offense i think a little bit overall wise so let's see who the jags pick they're gonna go with the right tackle let's into our pick which is in the back half of the second round and we're just gonna find out you know new game plan we're gonna go ahead and trade we're gonna go ahead and pick a tight end now i don't know which tight end we're taking because there are a few of them that look solid the main problem that I'm having, you know, and this guy, he doesn't have great speed, but he has good block and good deep route run. I assume he'll be solid. He's normal dev, but there were no good corners. I can promise you that. And if there were, they were at the bottom of the draft and they weren't scouted. So we're going to draft him. We'll trade Dallas Goddard, or not Dallas Goddard, whoever our tight end to is. I think it's Dalton Schultz is who it is. We'll trade him away and we'll, 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 we'll cook. So he did actually get a 65 overall corner later in the draft it wasn't my pick it was a cpu but good for them also okay hidden dev receiver with 90 speed i wonder if he has any trade value we'll find out we might keep him though i just want to check out the rest of the draft class because it didn't look like that good of a that good of a draft we'll, we'll find out you know it's not looking too hot yeah 79 overall not looking too good i didn't think there were any good quarterbacks either no no they're they're the 74 overall is the highest one it looks like 75 the second pick yeah i mean that is just not a good quarterback class i'm going to go ahead and try to trade dalton schultz and i will see you after i do that dalton schultz for i believe his name is carlton davis or maybe just carl davis solid trade it's not like a blockbuster it's relatively realistic i would say we're gonna sim to the playoffs and we're just gonna pray that we actually make it i'll show off the team i don't think i did that at the beginning of the last year did we, oh, i did i did okay so here's the team we're looking at I mean, we're just looking really solid. We got our apparent franchise QB backed up by the Sim Goon himself, Jacoby Brissett. We're not going to have the availability at left tackle that we want. Call me crazy. I think I'm going to move Wyatt Teller out to tackle. <laughs> I don't know if this is relative, really realistic or not, but what, what choice do we have? Because we need to replace our franchise left tackle with somebody who actually can block. And we're see, we're still a top two or one or two offensive unit or like offensive line unit so it's a great pickup now if there's a if there's a tight end in free agency i might be willing to sign them there's probably not though unless it's like an old man 
But yeah, I mean, there's nobody really, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sim. And now I will see you come play. I, I forgot to show the defense, so no, we're not simming yet. <laughs> so, okay. So here's the offense once again, right? Looking solid. We could use a better, you know, tight end too. We'll just move Hughes check right there again. He's the heart and soul of the team. And then defensively, we're looking okay. We're not looking good, but we're looking okay, right? I mean, we, we could be worse. And I think that's I think that's what matters. We could be worse. And so we're just going to, I'm going to hope that we cook. We've got our pass rushers doing their thing, hopefully. We upgrade the defensive line a little bit, not too much. I would like to make sure that the specialists are all there. Let's just, let's auto upgrade and see. No, it's not going to fix it. I'm going to have to do it manually, it looks like. So I'll see you actually this time in the playoffs. We're going to go set up the auto. We're going to go set up the depth chart, I mean. I'll see you then. So it's about that time. We're almost to the playoffs. Do we make the playoffs? We go 9-8. and eight. <laughs> Let's see what the downfall was here. Offensively, we were pretty good. Defensively, that makes a little bit more sense. Like, we, we like, obviously, we're not going to be great on defense. I wouldn't expect us to be great on defense. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. I'm going to spend the uh, staff. I'm going to spend the staff points and I'm going to look at the stats, obviously, first. And then we're going to hop into the next Sorry, We're going to hop into the games and go from there. Jared Goff, again, great season. Four to one touchdown interception ratio with 4,500 yards, 68% completion. Because he is an award winner. I don't know if that means he's off, he was offensive rookie of the year. Okay, okay. I just wanted to be sure. I just want to make sure he didn't actually win MVP. But I'm just going to put MVP quarterback in the thumbnail because that's what we got to do to make it on YouTube. Jared Goff, right, did okay on, you know, passing. But running, we saw a lot more production from Nick Chubb, a little bit less from Kareem Hall. He still averaged more yards per carry. And apart from that, though, I mean, we had 2,000-yard receivers. Odell had almost 900 yards. Didn't get as much production out of our tight ends, though, unfortunately. And blocking, I mean, yeah, that's about what you expect. We lost our franchise left tackle. Like, we didn't lose him, but, like, he was hurt. And, I mean, that's about what you expect. Again, this guy, he goes off. We had three 10-plus sack players. The defense was fallen for the most part. Again, Armani Oruarie goes nuts, apparently, for the second year in a row. Kicking, I mean, I guess maybe this could be the drop-off. We didn't kick as well. Second in offensive yards, and defensively, we are fourth, which is actually an improvement, I think, on both sides of the ball. So that's a little bit strange. But I'm going to spend these staff points, and we're going to head into the game. Now, I'm, I'm starting to realize, and maybe this is just a little bit of an oversight by me, but I think that potentially we could have lost Trent Williams to retirement. Now, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Of course, we can't see it. That's not good. But I think he did retire because he's just not on the team, which means his, his injury, it probably played a factor into that. But I don't think it was all that much to do with it. So, yeah, I guess he was just too old. I guess he didn't want to keep going. It would have been... You know, it would have been nice for him not to have gotten hurt and not to retire, but we're going in the game now. Let's hope we win. We're just going to send by quarters again. And we don't score. They score. We don't score. They score. Uh, this isn't looking too good. Of course, we go up against the best offensive playbook in the game, I'm pretty sure it is. So that's not good. And, okay, we're going to score. That's good. We somewhat get a stop, and we're going to score. And they score, and then, okay, it, it's 20 to 14. Hopefully, and hopefully, we can actually score, take the lead. They're going to get the ball. This isn't looking too good. Our offense isn't doing anything. This isn't looking too good. We're just going to do change of possession. Okay, we did score. Let's just sim play by play. Okay, it's third and third and 13. Zach Wilson's their quarterback. Oh, is that an interception by Armani or Uwarie? Can the offense capitalize? It's not looking too good. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what you want to see. Kareem Hunt catches a pass, and it, we tied it up. We tied it up. Okay, come on, defense. Let's get let's get one more stop, and the offense hopefully can do their job. One more stop. One more stop. We did it. Okay, come on. Let's do this. Come on, on offense. 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 Okay, first down. Right. Okay, another first. Okay, that's not a first. That's ten yards, but it's inches. Now, that's a first down. We're draining clock. That's what you want to see. That's not what you want to see. You don't want to see a sack. And okay, it's, it's third and sixteen. They couldn't get it. We're going to punt on the ball, unfortunately. They get the ball. 
they're gonna pick up the first we get tackle for a loss it's third and seven they don't get it they're gonna punt us the ball we look a solid return pass knocked away third and six we're gonna pick it up 13 yard reception to adam thielen there we go 14 yards to adam thielen we're gonna keep moving this time with a run can we put up the game winning field goal and we miss or potentially we didn't even kick a field goal we might have just run the ball with nick chubb as they get the ball to start the or start overtime it's a pick picked off by carlton davis 17 yards and that's the game the panthers are gonna win with an incredible comeback in the second half you love to see it we we are absolutely cooking five touchdowns for the goofball himself no wonder we won he carried us Goff wins player of the week with 331 yards and five touchdowns insane he did get sacked three times which isn't good but also Aritamewa Adibawar is going to win uh, the defensive player of the week who I guess he's on our team I didn't know that I'm surprised I didn't you know pick that up considering the fact that I'm a Colts fan and that's pretty cool I don't want to really do strategy and it's kind of why I don't want to go through the tutorial and stuff like that but let's head into the game once again so we're going to jump forward to the next quarter and look at us oh i thought we were going down to score but i guess we weren't again we don't score not looking too good but we started pretty quiet in the first half of the last game we got the ball we score three they they're up by 11 now but now they're only up by four we get the ball back they get the ball back we're, we're going back and forth with this thing very very low scoring game so far they've got the ball they're going to go down and score this isn't looking too good oh uh, you don't want to see this I think, I don't think we're, I don't think we're cooking. They're up by, what is that? 25 points. Can't believe it took me that long to decide that, that was 25 points. Can we go in and save the offense? I mean, at this point, it's just about playing with the team, right? Can we save them? Can we maybe chuck the ball up to somebody? We're going to take the snap. We got Odell, maybe. Kind of a back shoulder throw, and it's incomplete. Fourth down and ten. I would say the game comes down to this, but it really doesn't. We've already lost. I've yet to win any Super Bowls so far. I'm gonna just chuck this up to D Hop. Can he come down with it? He can! He breaks the tackle! DeAndre Hopkins gonna celebrate despite still being down by like 28 after the extra point. And the defense is gonna hold. They're gonna get three points out of it, but can the offense do anything? No. Oh wait, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was an interception, but no. Oh my goodness gracious. We're just spamming D hop. The, the, the offense was like, oh, that's what we need to do. Okay. And okay, we're not looking too good. I, I mean, what, what can what can you ask at this point, right? We're gonna get another stop. I mean, we, we could we could be doing something ex, ex, or like spectacular here, but instead we're just, we had to, we had to sell on the goal line, like in the Seahawks franchise. We're gonna throw an interception. That's probably the game. That's unfortunate. 38 to 17. You don't want to see that. We lose again. So in conclusion, neither offense nor defense wins championships. That's unfortunate. So in conclusion, basically, whatever team you're using, if you're in sim, you're not winning a Super Bowl. Doesn't matter who you are, right? You're just gonna lose. We're gonna see who the Super Bowl team is. We're gonna see what kind of stack they've got going on overall wise. I mean, honestly, it's probably just going to be, okay, Patriots, it's uh, Patriots at 49ers. Let's go take a look. So you got Russ at quarterback, Josh Jacobs. So on offense, they're just us, but worse. Their offensive line looking pretty mid. Oh, okay, outside of two positions. Defensively, right, their defensive line looks to be similar. So their linebackers are a little bit better, right? So they're... they're Okay, they got a better... Okay, their defense seems to be a little bit better. But what I'm taking out of this is they're more well-rounded. I'm assuming they probably win the Super Bowl. Just just because reasons. I promise it's not rigged. If they win the Super Bowl, it's, I promise it's actually not rigged. I didn't set a force win. I didn't set a force win. None of these games were force win at all. Right? It's, it's all... It's all... I mean, why would I, why would I do that, right? But that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed. Right? Like or subscribe or do whatever i don't really care right i just hope you enjoyed the video that means i'm doing good leave constructive criticism if you would i'll see you in the next one